hi beautiful people you're welcome to stay healthy and live healthy it's another edition well we have just finished a doctor series on fertility things that could make a woman not to be pregnant and today I want us to talk about a very sensitive topic why do we think that we lost our husband our brothers in fact our in-laws our friends our male in fact the male male figure why do we think that men die early when i was going through this research i read about a health personnel robert h who talked about one day he was sitting in his house and his wife asked him that honey why do you think that you will die before me he thought and he said it is statistics because the wife reflect and he noticed that the husband has made one or two statements that if I die, please do this, do this, do this, and do this. So the wife was asking him, well, why do you think that I'm going to die before you? So he was like, no, sorry. The wife was saying that, why do you think that you are going to die before me? He said the statistics because in the world's population, we noticed that 65% of men die early. It means that if you are living with your husband, you are living with your spouse, a couple, we notice that 80% of couples, the male ones, die before their wives. So I really think that it's a sensitive topic that we should really think about it and see how we can try, what are those things that we can improve on so that our men should live longer nobody wants to be a widow no nobody wants to be childless nobody wants to be brotherless or things like that so if you are a wife if you are a sister if you are a mother if you are a father then let's take this topic very very serious because we are going to be discussing four things that i think that men die early as a result of those things number one let's look at occupational wives men or husbands in our society 95 percent of husbands in our society are the main breadwinner of their family men do all sorts of jobs for example in a country like this you see men go into construction with a very harsh weather men could drive hours look at those men that driving is is a profession to them they drive for hours if you are new to this channel please like subscribe please turn on the notification bell so that whenever i post a very good and interesting topic like this one you are going to be notified secondly okay let's 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 talk about what men do for a living you see that because this our husband, our brothers, our children, they are the breadwinners of the family. They go to work very early in the morning and they come back, they are tired. The next day, they have to go to work because they need to take care of their family. They need to take care of this. Stress, again, is another factor that is making men to die very early. You can see a man very stressful. Maybe the job that day was so stressful and he comes back home he could not rest family issue maybe somebody is calling here and there i need money i need this i am sick i need money for school fees the children are there the children in short men things a lot so in fact if you are married to your if you are a married woman try to reduce the stress of your husband because it's not easy even at a job site the bosses are ordering him here and there. He comes home, he cannot rest. If we look at the health sector, where that's where I found myself, if you come to the health sector, go to the hospital. If about a hundred of patients are there to consult in one day, you will notice that about 95 are women, just about 5% are men men are scared of the hospital we don't know why men are really scared of the hospital men why are you scared of the hospital 
so many men find it difficult to go to the hospital even sometimes your wife will come to the hospital for medical checkup you you will tell the wife um madam if you go to the house please on your next routine come with your husband they are never there we see this every day in the hospital men are never there you will never find them in hospital setting coming for check up it's in fact everywhere it's a man's sickness they don't like going to the hospital you that man that you are looking at me right now when lastly do you go to the hospital when lastly did you visit your doctor especially in a setting in africa where going to the hospital is a whole lot but in europe and america we we in fact um going to the hospital you spend little or nothing but you will still find it difficult to see a man dressed not having headache not having anything saying that okay let me go to the hospital it's not it's very rare before you will see a man in the hospital you if they carry that pain from that man and they put it in a little child that child should be dying so please take it as a routine visit your doctor one of the main reasons why visiting your doctor will improve your will improve your lifespan is the fact that maybe your doctor could see a risk factor of a particular disease already posing the doctor will tell you no please reduce this do this do this do this or take this medication in order for you to stay healthy one of the main sicknesses that is killing men today is cardiovascular diseases you see 90 percent of men today die from heart attack um die from heart attack heart related sicknesses like stroke and things like that why because even when they are retired they are not retired even when these men are retired they are not tired they still do minor jobs they still engage in small small jobs that they could think that it, it could help them to better their family especially when you go on retirement when you think that you're still young when you think that you're still healthy when you think that you are still strong most men will go on retirement and they will pick up other jobs no that is a time where you need to rest that is a time where you need to focus on your health that is a time where you need to do things that you will improve on your health and another thing you see when a man has grown so prosperous he has gotten married he has given birth to children those children again they, they grow up to be very successful and from our pure african society some of them will travel abroad they are living life very healthily they are living life fine you notice that 70 percent of these children if they want to think of who to visit them in abroad first they always think of their mother they always think of their siblings do you know our fathers do you know these men are, are practically being abandoned when your father is on retirement this is a moment where you show him love this is a moment where you make him feel relaxed this is a moment where you make him to be so comfortable but one maybe you take your mother abroad the comfort that time because your younger sister or your housemate will not be able to provide care and comfort for your dad at that age the way his wife would have been one he goes into depression he goes into loneliness he's thinking ask yourself why is it that when a man dies his wife could live for about 20 years 30 years 40 years the wife the woman is healthy he's strong in fact do you know that psychologically women are very strong yes even biologically it has made us to understand that genetics has made us to understand that the genetic the female um, x the female's x x chromosomes has a longer duration of time to live biologically it has been proven yes even when your father is at at advanced stage we children we see pay more attention to our mother 
if you want to go out you take your mother if you want to send money you go to the market you buy your mother gifts you abandon your father all those things make him to be depressed he keeps thinking even though he has been retired but in his mind he has not been retired because he does not feel the comfort he does not feel that joy he does not have that in fact he is not feeling what he should so i just want to encourage you if you have a father if you are a man take care of yourself if you are still at a working age now not because of money you will pick up those jobs that when you are retired you just find two or three years after your history no you can still say no to a particular job now that you think that that job could be at risk to your health and wait for another one because there must obviously be something my people if you are just joining us please like subscribe why not turn on the notification bell and share because a man a guy a wife a husband a father a mother needs to hear this message if you're a young guy you're working don't only think about food now don't only think about the present don't only think about how to build houses don't only think about children's school fees think about your retirement yes because when you're retired at that age or at that period of time if you're a government worker or if you're let's say you're you're working presently and you know at that age you will still be re, re, um, you will still be receiving some benefits but it cannot be as it is now that you're working if you're being paid for example 1500 euro when you're when you are in an active service when you retire it cannot be like that maybe the government could give you 500 300 and 600 700 but it could not be like that in our typical african society for example in cameroon where i'm coming from you could see um benefit retirement benefit ranges from 50 to about 150,000 francs of which when you were still in active service maybe you were receiving 300,000 250,000 so while you're working take care of yourself save for those rainy days because some men when they are retired their women don't respect them anymore because they see that those benefits do not come again they know those benefits don't come into the family so they tend to neglect their husband at that time maybe when the man is retired the wife is still at active service or maybe the wife is still working and the wife is busy going to work going to the business place and things like that and you sit at home you are thinking you're depressed do you know that more men do go into suicide nowadays why because of depression those men they are retired they are at home they are depressed with family issues with social lives one of the things that men die early again it's um our social life you see that men drive more than women men smoke more than women men take alcohol more than women so just imagine they used to tell us when you drink don't drive when you drive don't drink you will see a man as taking alcohol to the brim but he's on the road driving maybe he's alone maybe he's going to see somebody maybe he's going to the club maybe he's going to one of one or two relaxation center and bam he has an accident he has an accident maybe there's a wife of somebody he has just lost that woman has just lost the husband why because of maybe too much drinking that woman could stay for about three four seven eight ten twenty years without anything happening to the wife so women are tired of losing their husbands children are tired of losing their fathers so please men you need to help yourself to take care of yourself so that you can live longer we have come to the end of this session please like comment turn on the notification bell why not share so that somebody somewhere will see this 
message um remain blessed remain faithful and see you on our next video